Yo, what's up guys, it's Loza. We're looking at my D Brigade list that I'm going to be playing in. Well, normal matches of uh, Digimon TCG Online or DCG Go. DCG Go, yeah, that's right, by Huang Zero. Um, we have opened up an alright hand. I'm pretty happy to keep this hand. We're playing first. I'm pretty happy to drop the four cost tie and put a command draw on the stack in the back. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Put this uh, command drum on that we're pretty happy to swing in and get deleted next turn. Because, yeah, we didn't draw a 4. And we'll just happily drop this 4-drop tie. This 4-drop tie uh, hasn't seen a lot of play outside of my Black Blocker deck. But I think this is the format for it. Because, yeah, it's a memory setter. But mainly, all turns when attack target is switched. So, Magna X. Um, draw a card and give 2k to something. That's going to be really nice. Because DP is king, this format. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. DP, good. Uh, you need to hit into like things like Tyrant Cubitary, Magna X. I mean, there's there's a bunch of other decks where DP is just good in general. Uh, I could probably list, you know, every deck in the game. But uh, it looks like we're versing Imperial today. Okay, we've started with Uko mod. But they're playing the Fish deck. Alright, I'm very confused now. Anyway, let's promote. We're going to go to 3 memory. We're pretty happy to just swing this in. Actually, let's not. Let's not, because we can actually manipulate the top cards of our deck. We're going to play the 3-drop Commandermon. This is going to let us look. And there is a Commandermon there. That's fantastic. Still not a level 4, which really sucks. So what I might do is grab the cargo. Confirm we can go into the Commandy. Let's do that. We're going to do something like this. Okay, two bombs going to the bottom of the deck is kind of cringe, but, I mean, it is what it is. I think I want Death X more than that. Right, great. It is Imperial, we can confirm. And we're going to be able to play out our Commandermon friend once again. Yeah, we do lose two bombs, but, you know, it, it is what it is. All right, Commandermon going to go off here, and can we find a four? No. We do have our new option here, the Metropolitan Police Department Community Safety Bureau uh Cybercrime Division Investigation Unit 11 Digicrime Response Team. That's a pretty good card with a very short name. I think we're going to pick that up because we do need some more searching power. And I think we're pretty happy to... I'm actually going to top deck because I want the Death X. But then I'm pretty happy for the rest of this to kind of piss off. So what we're going to do here is... Um... Oh, if I flip top three, I don't get the Death X, huh? Mm. I didn't really think this through. And that's, that's going to be a common theme of me playing this on The Sim today. I am playing it here to learn it because there are so many times that stacking is so important in this deck and uh, it's really easy to mess it up. Um, Alright, I guess I've just messed up and put the Death X on top, but that's alright. Probably should have just bottom decked everything if I was going to play this card, but oh well. We live and we learn. We live and we learn. So right now our board's not looking too crash hot because we're really missing that 4. We only play um, nine fours, so I might be bumping up to ten. Okay, I haven't seen anyone play Uko Morning Imperial. I've seen it like this deck's so combo heavy. I just didn't think. Also, they're playing Pokemon. That is so weird to me. It is so strange to me. Is that an all turns effect? So when you partition, it's a your turns effect. I'm very confused by that. I feel like you need to play Wormons and Vmons in Imperial. I don't know if Uko really has room. But hey. This guy's probably out here testing just like we are. So ideally, we can top deck a level 4 here. Uh, we also get a draw off our egg. So hoping to draw into our 4. Or for our opponent to check one in security with Uko mode. I don't think they're going to do that. Okay, they had the dragon mode and the Davis 3 drop. They're playing the old dragon mode, which... Look, guys, I'm pretty sure the new dragon mode is just that good. You don't play the old dragon mode anymore, but um, once again, this guy's maybe just cooking. Well, he it does play from sources, and that synergizes with the egg he's playing, I guess. Maybe he's playing some weird combo version, but I, I think the best version of Imperial is just the combo kill your opponent version, but hey. All right, we're going to see Davis come down here playing a Vmon or Digivolving into Xvim. I've never seen anyone use the second effect to Digivolve into Xvim. Oh my god. This is the first time. This is the first time I've seen someone use the effect of Digital Open X Vmon. That is crazy. Has anyone else ever seen that? It only ever gets used to play Vmons, I swear. That's that's insane. 
using the Davis can to gain a memory. Okay. Wait, where did this? Wait, oh, he's playing another Davis can to pass. Um, well, he can't end of turn DNA with Ukomon, so yep. I, I, I don't know, that Ukomon just seems kind of bad. Alright, I'm hoping to be able to build a stack in the back here. So I'm gonna put this Vmon, this Vmon, this Commandermon. We could just absolutely Ungabunga here and try to hit a four. Let's do it. We're already behind. Let's go. Reveal top three. Nice. Nice. We hit the four. We missed the Tamer though, but I think it's fine. It's cool. Put the Tamer in the bin though. It's not that bad. Place one card. You get Rush. Let's press use. We don't have the card, but let's just press use. It's funny. Okay. We have the egg. No, we don't have the egg. Okay. So what we can do from here is go into tank and we can just out <coughs> the XV mod. It sucks because like we want to out the Uko mod because it's like generating advantage, but it's like, well, it's not doing anything either. So, uh, yep. How many cards with debris have we got? One, two. Damn. So this Dr. Mon's not like free yet. Um, that's okay. Oh, we- oh, never mind. We've got Brigade Ramon in our hand. Yeah, never mind. We're chilling. We're chilling. Alright, reveal top three. Um. I'm pretty happy for these to be on top of our deck. I'll just pick the order. I want the Tamer in the hand, and then these two. <coughs> so we're gonna happily delete the, um, XV here. Obviously no partition yet. Man, this is such a good commander one, but I feel like we gotta swing it. <coughs> oh, that's really bad. That is really bad. Oh, let's just swing this in too then. Okay. Alright, well we got a bunch of checks in, that's dope. Going to the brigade room. I'm gonna draw into the tamer, so now we can put the tamer down as well. Yeah, we're gonna pop that Uko mod. Get out of here. Okay, we're going to be able to play out two pretty damn good cards here. Now, it is still end of turn, but we are going to be able to do the Numamon effects. So we'll do that. Place the Satsuki underneath. Now, the correct... I believe the correct ruling of this is we're not able to detach it. Like did you want to get Rush? Give it to this guy. The big turn is passed. But the Digivolve is going to happen. It can't happen. And then, yeah, everything's blocked. Except the Numamon, because it is just Digipolice. Oh yeah, no, you're right. Look, the Tamer didn't attach. Why isn't he blocker? Oh, it is only Debrigate trait cards that get blocker. The more you know. I just always assume this gets it as well, but it doesn't actually. Interesting. Only Debrigate. Why do we have security attack? Oh, it means just we're at neutral. Like, neutral security attack. Alright. It's a great start. It's a fantastic start. Um, I might edit the deck real quick, and that also gives you guys a chance to see the deck. Um, based on what we just saw there, I think I want another Seals Drummond, just because, one, it's Digi Police and Brigade, and two, it's, um, another level four. We kind of need another level four. Let's go ahead and add that. That means we've got to cut something. I think I'm kind of happy cutting. It's probably one of this cracked option. Actually, I really like this option. I feel like there's a lot of depth with this option, so I might keep playing it at three until I'm like, no, I don't like it. But I actually think it's really. Uh, I might even go to four. I'm gonna go to four. I'm just gonna fully test the option. Yeah, nothing else. Let's just fully test the deep brigade option. I'm I'm down to clown with it. I think it's quite good. Um. I don't think it's on the level of double- actually, maybe it is better than Double Typhoon. It's hard to say. I know a lot of lists don't max on it though, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna bolt to the wall and max it. And sometimes the game uh, just doesn't find you games. Very epic. And the timer is all janky too. We might have to experiment with um, Quartzmon as well. Quartzmon seems like it'll be a good tech. Yeah, 
would go. I think there's so many people playing this that the matchmaking can be a bit scuffed. Alright, we're going second. It's like, I want to keep this hand. Nah, I don't. Let's throw it away. That's Molly. Yeah, that's better. It's much better. Okay, it's Insects. This will be an interesting matchup. We can't pop the Tyrant. Oh, we can. We can use um, DCD Bomb. Or we can D-Digivolve it, but yeah. Okay. Even us two. Are we going to use the new Commandermon on the Egg Stack here? See what we draw? I really like this new Commandermon, though. It's pretty solid. Ooh, I'm kind of down to just play the option. <coughs> Let's do it. He'd give us a four. Let's put these back on top, which is nice. Put the Death X back on top, that's cool. It'd be, ni it'd be nicer if you could pick, like the Commander one, but I think it's still got merit. Okay, Agility passing us back to one. Shiva. Interesting. Taking the Shiva as well. Okay. Um. Worth promoting? I don't think so. I think we're pretty happy to stay in the back here and just digivolve for two. Yep. That's about it. We really need to find a three drop now. Sorry, a, a level 5. I don't know why I said 3 drop. I need to find a cargo or a uh, tank Dramon. Tank Dramon is really good, by the way. For those of you who haven't tried tank yet, it's real nice. It's real good in the ace format. If your opponent has an ace on the field, you can just hard play that man for 7. You know, flip some debrigade cards. <laughs> you can out pretty much any ace. If you flip three Day Brigade cards, it outs any ace card, which is insane. I hope we can show that off on, on the uh, games today. Yeah, Metal Life. He's going to suspend himself and he's going to go to 10k. Pretty good. So he's got the egg to redirect attacks in as well. Oh no, sorry. The egg doesn't do that. This Inheritable does that. So he can't actually redirect our attacks just yet. We did draw cargo off the top. Nice. Uh, let's promote. Mm, we do pass turn if we Evo though, huh? Yeah. What can we play? We can play a four cost off the top of our deck. We can just unga bunga risk it here, but unless we hit like this commander one, find a tank, I can't think of what else we can do really. Um, maybe it's just best we just go on a cargo. We don't have any protection, do we? No, we don't have protection in this stack at all. Hmm. Let's do it, though. Let's evolve and go wide. Okay, gonna draw into another copy of the option. Hey, that's exactly what we wanted. Cool. And there's tank! Nice! And we could add tank, we could add the tamer. We're gonna get both, let's be real. Because one can go top and one can go for draw for turn. Got a command drop on here as well. Nice. Okay. Um we'll go tank in the hand and um happily grab the tamer. Order like this. Something like that. That seems nice. Oh, I could have put the rookie there because you're gonna oh, I could have put the rookie on the stack. Yeah, actually. See, the sequencing can be so, so um, specific. Maybe it was better to go, the card I want to draw for turn. Oh, the card I'm adding. Card I'm adding. Card I'm going to draw for turn being the commander I want to put on the stack. And then the tamer. But, oh well. <coughs> if he goes into the Grand Kawaga, it doesn't get hard played. We can kind of easily just make him move, move on down. Well, this looks like it's going to be Tyrant though. 
Let's see. Oh, okay. That's really good for us. What? Did he not see what we just added to our hand? Okay. So all we need to do is have the ability to stack... Oh, okay, we don't have an egg coming up. Damn. Who has the egg here? Cargo. Damn. Yeah, we're gonna lose the cargo. Okay. Hmm. Well, we can always just hard slam it and pray that we hit all three off the top, then it's exactly seven. Okay, um... Don't really have a way to stack or see the top of our deck. Well, we do, but it passes turn. Oh, we still could look at it and then do this next turn. Not the worst play. The worst play at all. Reduce all of their... Yeah, reduce their cost by one, then delete a four cost. Also got the big boy in the back too. Quite nice, quite nice. Um, I think we know what's on top. There's Commander Mons, Tamer. Maybe it's worth going into Numamon here, establishing this. Let's do this here. Definitely should have been the other way around with that Commander on going here, but it's all right. We be we be living and we be learning. I'm going to this Numamon here because we know our opponent's going to have Digimon out for life now, basically. We get some value off setting this up. One Digimon gets Rush. I, I don't think that's going to matter to. And we'll detach. Cool. Okay, so we've still got Hard Slam Tank as a great option. It's just manipulating the top cards of our deck to ensure... That the tank is a a hit, a, a kill the Kawaga. Ah, well, now it's gonna be a little more difficult. Um, because this ignores Death X, but we do have the bomb. The bomb is nice, but it probably will pass turn. Unless he leaves us at three. If he leaves us at three, we're kind of fine. Because we'll go to four. So in an ideal world, what does the bomb kill up to six play cost? Damn, that's just short of most level six aces. Okay, gonna check a tank. This is gonna be really good though. If I could get into tank and brigade in one turn, this would be huge. But I don't think that's gonna be the Okay, he's past turn, he's gonna bottom deck our command from on. And sadly, we've only got three memory to work with. That is unfortunate. Super unfortunate. Well, 21k right here. Yeah, gaining one memory is nice. Not quite what we needed right now. Okay. Well, we could go into Brigade Ramon here. There's nothing wrong with that. This would kind of need to hear. What do we have in the bin? So we could go Numamon, play the Tamer, and go up the line. Let's do that. So we're going to swing this into security. This will allow us to use our when attacking effect. He's probably going to redirect this, and that's fine. But we're able to put the uh, Numamon on top of the deck. He didn't put seals. Is seals better? No, new one's better. Put back our seals. We'll put back a. Sorry, put back a Numa. We'll put back a Commander and we'll put back a Cargo. He'll probably redirect this attack and that's fine. No, he won't. Okay. Yeah. Gets the Izzy off it, so wow. Value for him. Alright, we're going to use the. Cracked option, I'm not going to say its name. <laughs> we'll play out the Numamon. Numamon effect. We're going to get the Tamer. I'll probably give the Numamon run. So, um, he can redirect attacks. So what we're going to do here is tank. Tank's going to reveal top three. All D Brigade cards. Nice. 
Um, do I want these cards? I don't need a level four. There was a level four there. No, there wasn't. <laughs> uh, no, there was not. I'm stupid. Um, but it's fine. We get a nice day brigade kind of thing going on. We can delete one of these. Probably this. Go ahead and delete the metal life. Now is the big dilemma though. Go on a brigade and just go wide. You can then bottom deck my brigade still. But it's probably still the best. Still do that. Hopefully I don't draw another cargo here. Nope. Okay, good. We play out the cargo. We pop this first of all. We're going to go ahead and play out the cargo. Oh yeah, end of turn, let's attach this. Probably the best thing we could do for Now we've got his end of turn, we're gonna play out a cargo. Nice. Then of course we're going to be able to DDG evolve, but that's not gonna matter, sadly. Wow, good reveals. <clears throat> I Commander Mon's really big here, but I feel like we just need the memory more. I think we need the memory more so I can just bomb this Kabuteri Mon, to be honest. And yeah, I can de-digivolve this, but once again, it won't matter. <coughs> Man, we really need to play like one Mega Gaga Mon Ace here, huh? Yeah, I, I should put Mega Gaga Ace in here, because we spew out the level fives like crazy sometimes. At least one. Reference to the Terrium one deck as well. It's based. Just having the one would make my opponent play around it, which is based. Okay, he just hard played that. That's kind of what we wanted. This is seven cost. If we can get to another tank, we have a tank in our bin. We do. If we can get tank back to the hand, we're going to be able to just pop off, kill that, gain memory back, up a five out. Why didn't he suspend? Why didn't he suspend our big guy? Cards' effects suspended, Kana suspended. Yeah, so I, I don't know, that seems wrong. Oh, because you don't have to worry about them being suspended. Yeah, that's right. It's silly that the Tyrant doesn't look for a suspension. I've never really got that. Okay, so yeah, he kind of, not misplayed, but like targeting this commander mod means nothing, like it's going to restand, so that's cool. We're going to gain a bunch of memory here, which is good, we really need it. Cool. I kind of want to open with bomb, not going to lie. This commander mod's not as good in this matchup as well, it's kind of rough. Um, oh, that's nice, that's real nice. So if I go bomb, yeah, I probably shouldn't have digivolved yet because I could bomb and then draw into the line I want. But I can just put tank on top and then I'm happy. I pretty much just want tank on top and also the tamer. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go bomb. And de-digivolve the tyrant. Pretty, pretty easy clap. And we're going to be like, yo, we would like tank. Tamer. And I guess we could do it like this. We got two cost either in our hand already, so we'll do it like that. Something like that seems good. Okay. Digibolt for two. Based. 
We can't manipulate the top. Hmm. Well, we just gotta hope that it's three digi please. It is. Nice. That's huge. Okay, cool. Um, I'm happy to keep them like that too. That seems good. And now we get to delete one of these. It's probably going to be this one with all the inheritables. Nice. We're going to gain that memory back. And guess what? This one still has its level lowered from the tank. So we're able to go into Brigadromon here. Throwing another high. And now we can delete this guy too. That's huge. Yeah, that's massive. Um, we don't have any other bodies out though, that's a bit of a worry, because like we have the double protection but no bodies to go with it. I don't know if we risk swinging in, it might just be better to play the Numemon and attach the final Satsuki, or do we keep that as a way to game? Yeah, it's probably, probably something we save for later. Kinda happy to just drop this Commander Mon here, so we've got a bit of protection for our guy. And um, end of turn we'll play out some more guys too. Man, playing out this again seems good, but like also, probably just go wide here. I'm gonna put the pressure on him now that we've taken away his stacks. He's pretty much gotta build into a new tyrant. Free memory as well. I don't think he can get too far. Oh yeah, that confirms he is not going very far this turn. Wow, he's playing the BT2. Oh sorry, the starter deck Mega Kabuterimon. Interesting. I feel like there's a lot of better fives you can play, but hey. And man, man's cooking. Man's cooking. Alright, GG. Well, I gotta go, but um. I'm going to keep cooking this deck, but you let me know what you're playing in your D Brigade deck in the comments. And I'll get back to you very soon, hopefully, with more D Brigade content too. Really want to cook this deck up and make it cracked. Anyway, catch you guys next time. Peace.